Hi everybody, I'm Roy Falk and welcome to part 2 of my alchemy mod. Right, so now for the next few recipes we are going to look uh, at our alchemy book first and we need to unlock all of these recipes first. So we're going to grab the alchemy book. This is the first uh, book you get and we'll just learn those recipes. Right, so it's starting to unlock those recipes. So let's just start at the first one here. Right, now, there's an item called Biltong. Now this is essentially dried uh, meat. Now with dried meat, uh, you see the, the, the stats on that is plus 4 on health, plus 10 on fullness, uh, minus 8 on hydration because it's a salted product, so it's going to uh, dehydrate you, and plus 0 0.5 on wellness. It's still smellable, so you have a, a bag uh, smell and a belt smell of uh, 1 uh, meter and 2 meters, but it's not as bad as trying to carry around venison uh, and other uh, meat products because those can be smelt over a very long distance. Right, now let's see how we make these. So I'll just grab all of these and then we can start putting them through our recipes. Alright, so I'm going to go into the crafting mode and I'll type in Bultong and I'll look at the first one. So pretty easy. Two venison and one table salt. And that gives you Bultong. And the same is true for the skinned rabbit and for the pork. The value, basically you get four of these Biltong items and it's pretty good. So if you get four of these, they will equal the actual fullness value of the raw item. So that's pretty good. Right, now let's look at the next recipe. Now our next recipe is to make herbal brew. Now herbal brew has its own values. You can see you have a plus 3 health, you got plus 40 stamina, you have fullness of plus 8, it dehydrates you minus 4 and a wellness of 0 0.3. It's, it's similar to grain alcohol and if you look at all these ingredients then you can see why you have the grain alcohol effect there as well. So we'll just grab these items and I can just show you how I, I craft this. Okay, don't need that. I'll just show you the effect of this. So this will give you the kind of grain alcohol effect which is a beer buzz and uh, it gives you stamina plus two every second which is absolutely great. If you do have more of these at a time uh, you do get uh, the drunk buff which is actually uh, quite bad because it slows you down. Right so let's have a look at our herbal brew. Okay there's our herbal brew. So very easy. Chrysanthemum, if I if I pronounce it correctly, correctly, golden rot uh, flower. Uh, we need a yucca plant. We need blueberries. Our grain alcohol. And our aloe vera plant, and that gives us herbal brew. Now herbal brew, as I said, is going to be used in, in later recipes. Uh, I've just put away those items so that they're not clogging up my uh, inventory. Now let's look at the next recipe. Now, don't we just love finding all this old uh, sham sandwiches and we don't know what to do with them because nobody actually eat them. While moldy bread is so handy to make antibiotics. So one of the recipes I've added is to actually make moldy bread. So for to make moldy bread, I combine uh, bottled murky water and an old sham sandwich. Now let me show you that recipe. Moldy bread. There we go. Bottled murky water and an old sham sandwich. 
and that gives you moldy bread. Right, let's look at the next uh, recipe. Next recipe. Now we're getting into some of the interesting chemical stuff. Now, you can also make acid. So we know uh, that one of the loot items you find is drain cleaner, which is an acid. And by the way, it's very bad. Don't drink it. Uh, unless you're into eating glass. Uh, this works a bit faster than eating glass. Uh, you typically won't drink this. And of course we know the table salt and we know glass jars. So we can actually make hydrochloric acid. Now let me show, the, show you the recipe for hydrochloric acid. Now hydrochloric acid by itself it doesn't really have any use apart from being just another dangerous acid. But it is a, a prerequisite for other recipes that follows later. Hydrochlor hydrochloric acid. Right, so we use drain cleaner, table salt, and a glass jar. And we can craft hydrochloric acid. Right, so I'll just clear my inventory and then I'll be back. Let's look at the next recipe. So the next recipe is another acid. Uh, nitric acid or nitric acid. Now for this, uh, we have our old friend here drain cleaner. Uh, we have potassium nitrate and a glass jar. Now let's look at the recipe for nitric acid. Now nitric acid is really just another dangerous acid but again a prerequisite for other uh, more advanced recipes. So let's look at the, the recipe for nitric acid. Very similar to the recipe for hydrochloric acid but just slightly different ingredients. And that's nitric acid. Now let's carry on. Now the next item I want to show you how to make is called iron oxide. Now iron oxide by itself is not actually useful but you'll see later where we use it. Now to make iron oxide uh, we need simple bottled water, we need table salt, we need nails, and we need a car battery. Now let's look at that recipe for iron oxide. Iron oxide. Now iron oxide we use two nails, uh, bottled water, battery below the bottled water and table salt on top and we get for all of those ingredients we get four um, iron oxide and in the next recipe I will show you how I use these four iron oxide. Now that we've made our iron oxide we can use the iron oxide to make something called ferric chloride. Ferric chloride to make that we use one hydrochloric acid and four iron oxide. Now let me show you the recipe of that. Ferric chloride. Hydrochloric acid and four iron oxide. And you get a uh, fourth uh, ferric chloride for this recipe. Now you might want to say, well, what do I do with ferric chloride? Ferric chloride is used in this game to make something that uh, is called treated water. Now treated water is, is very much the same. It's exactly the same for stamina and hydration than your, your typical bottled water that you get from a campfire. Now your 4 ferric chloride can actually uh, supply you with 32 bottles of treated water. So that's actually quite cool. You can have a, a, a nice big stack of this fer fer ferric chloride and you can keep treating your bottled murky water. You don't need to start a campfire. You can simply treat your, your bottled murky water with ferric chloride 
to make uh, treated water. Now let's look at that recipe. Treated water. So you take one f uh, ferric chloride and you place the bottled water around that. The bottled murky water and that will craft treated water. So you can see it's quite a lengthy process going through a whole f uh, number of chemical steps to get to the point where you can make ferric chloride and then ultimately once you have your ferric chloride you can treat quite a lot of, of murky bottled water uh, and then just really turn it into water that you can just use like water that you'd normally create uh, using a campfire so that's pretty good so guys thank you for watching part two of my alchemy mod and uh, please join me for part three